clean out this carburetor, I'm going to use my usual technique, which is to first soak it in uh, the chem dip here. Clean it up. I'm going to take it apart. Start off by taking these parts apart. I've already loosened these, by the way, for the sake of the video. And you'll see that there's some pretty nasty stuff in there. Some crusty stuff on here. Needle valve. Alright, I'm going to try just soaking this stuff the way it is. I'm not going to take it apart any further for now. And see if we can't get this carburetor running. Yeah, one more piece. And we'll let that soak for about 20 minutes or so. Alright, now I've got my carburetor parts out of the chem dip. And uh, I actually used uh, a can of spray carburetor cleaner to rinse it all off. I know it seems like overkill, but it seems to work for me. So it's time to reassemble this carburetor. And the first thing I'm going to do is to put the needle valve back on the float. Like so. And then carefully set it in place make sure the needle valve drops in the hole where it needs to be take the pin slide that in place Whatever that black crusty stuff was that was on the float earlier, that carb cleaner took right off. And we've got our gasket. And then we've got the bowl. Snug that up a bit. And then the needle. I want to adjust this afterwards. But right now I'm just going to go put it in about halfway. This is a control arm that goes to the governor. 
I always like so. Alright, carburetor's reassembled. We'll go put it back in the machine.